So it's already been a week since Bomber Cyberpunk released and there's already a multiplayer mod. I knew it was going to happen but I didn't think it was going to be this fast. Huge shout out to NotNet slash NotNight for making this. This is really sick. And this video is just going to be a little tutorial on how to install it. Of course, this is very basic and kind of janky, but it is still very fun. And if you have the game on Steam, I recommend you check it out. With that, yes, this only works on Steam and won't work on consoles. Hopefully there's a multiplayer update in the future, but it'll most likely stay on PC for a long time. Also, this video doesn't aim to tell you how to make an entire server, as I don't want to go too much into it. This is mostly for people that want to test it out, or maybe hang out with their friends. And there's already a default server, so you don't need to worry about anything, if you just want to get into it. So let's hop on over to my desktop, and I'll show you how to install this thing. Hello, welcome to my desktop and I'll be showing you how to get this thing installed. So first off, you want to head on down to here. This link will be in the description. You don't need to worry about it. It'll be the first thing up there. So you want to download this program, R2 Mod Man. This allows you to manage all the mods for a bunch of different games, but we'll be using it for BRC. So click manual download and that should be downloading right here. And once that's done, you should have a new download folder, unzip the program, and then run it and do all the normal setup stuff you'll do for mostly every other program. And if that went smoothly, then you should be able to launch the software, which should look like, look like this. This is hopefully what it should look like. And it should have a bunch of different games here that you can manage your mods for. But the one we're looking for is Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. So once you have that, select your game. After you have your game selected, you have to make a new. This is a profile, so you can have different types of mods with different things, like mod packs, like Minecraft mod packs, if you have ever done that. So you want to press create new, make a name, and then a shop as a selection thing, where you can press select profile, and it'll appear right over here. After you've done that, you see it already has some stuff installed, but you don't need to worry about that. All you need to do is go into online and download this thing. This allows you to actually use mods for games. So make sure you download this. I'll have the actual link for the mod itself in the description. So you can download it directly from the website. But yes, I recommend just downloading this here, Beppin EX Pack. After you've done that, you want to head down to Slop Crew and download that as well. Pretty simple enough. And next up, I want to show you how to do some other setup stuff. So after you've downloaded Slop Crew, head on over to Configuration Editor and head on to the Slop Crew plugin config and press Edit Configuration. So you don't need to do any big fancy stuff here. All you need to do is change your username which i've done already and you can change the server that you're playing on but you should probably leave this as default as it's already connected to a server that the mod maker is already running but there is a way to set up your own server which i will not show here so after you hold down that remember to uh, remember to save and head on over and click start modded which should boot up the game before your mods and you should know if everything is working hang on a second if in the game on the main menu you have this you should say slob crew you the version number and your name which then you'll be able to just start go into whatever profile you have and then hopefully everyone should be running around and of course it'll depend how busy the servers are if they're up or down uh, I recommend joining the Discord for Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, aka the Team Reptile Discord, which I should also link in the description. And yeah, if you want to learn how to set up servers, the, probably the best place to go is to ask and uh, read the GitHub page. But apart from that, you should be able to access this. So yeah, this is a very fun mod, a lot of stuff to do. Of course, it's very basic and very janky, but it'll get better over time and... 
It's already very fun to see other people skating around. Carries across areas. You can just, it's so cool. I recommend you check it out. This is by far the simplest way to set up the mod. And if you ever want to play, you can just click on the play modded version. If you play it through Steam, you won't have the mods installed. So just remember that every time you launch the game. See you next time.